It's all systems go for the planetarium at Liverpool's World Museum after the installation of a new digital projection system that is set to take the experience for visitors into a new dimension. John, this is the first major revamp that the planetarium's had in almost 40 years. Tell us a little bit about it. Um, well, Zeiss have very kindly donated some nice projection equipment for us and it's basically dragged us into the 21st century. Um, we used to have single projectors, like CRT projectors, and digital projectors and stuff. Now we've got all dome projectors. So basically we can, we can put one image on the whole of the dome. So like an image of you know, Jupiter, uh, an image of, of Saturn's rings, anything like that, anything we want really. We can produce our own shows, um, you know, we can buy shows in. It, the, the, honestly, it's just limitless what we can do. And how has the planetarium's offerings developed in the years since it's been open? Um, well, we've only just started, really. With, you know, right now we're still getting to grips with the equipment and stuff. Um, we're, uh, uh, in the next couple of weeks we're going to be kind of developing our own shows. Um, you know, and, and once we've kind of got that up and running, the sky's the limit, really. And it's still proving to be a very popular place to visit for local kids, local oh, yeah. families, and people from further afield. Yeah, yeah, schools. I, I, that, that's the thing that we could have actually done with a bit longer to kind of you know get everything sorted out. But we've got we've just got that many schools booked in. You know, we were desperate to come here. So literally, as soon as we opened. You know, we had a you know, few schools booked in and all kinds of public shows. We're so popular, we really are so popular. A solar eclipse is the most extraordinary heavenly spectacle to be seen from the Earth. On an otherwise normal day, a shadow appearing quite by surprise at the edge of the solar disk spreads rapidly over it as it steadily smothering its glow. Its curved shape allows us to see the sun as a successively thinning core. Once darkness is total, a shining crown appears around the black disk, giving off radial beams.